Democrat Gwen Graham is making her final argument to Suncoast Democrats that she has the best chance to win the governor's race and the governor's mansion for the first time in 20 years. We caught up with the congresswoman just before the show. Uh, look, this race has been just the most phenomenal opportunity from May 1st, 2017, when we announced our candidacy to today. I have been traveling the state, meeting with voters all across the state of Florida. I have been here uh, in southwest Florida many, many times, and I'm so excited to be back today, the last day before primary voting starts tomorrow. So why should you support our candidacy? Because we are committed to doing what's right for the people of Florida again, and for the state of Florida again, to make sure we're putting in policies that are going to be good for our environment. As we see this blue-green algae, on both coasts of the state of Florida. That's a symptom of the illness that has been created through 20 years of one party rule, Republican rule in Tallahassee, not taking care of our environment, not making sure that we protect our natural resources. We've got to restore the rivers of grass. So all of this, for me, why I'm running for governor, why I'm asking for people's support, is because when I'm in Tallahassee, I'm going to be waking up every day working hard to put in place the policies that are going to make a positive difference in people's Let lives. Let me ask you about the, the green algae and also the red tide. Are, are you saying specifically there's something that the governor could have done over the last 20 years oh. to make it less severe than it is today? Not only, not only is there, I mean, they have ignored what needed to be done. We need to have Everglades restoration. We've got to bring more water south from north of Lake Okeechobee through. We've got to deal with septic tanks. We've got to deal with nutrient management, runoff from agriculture. These are all components of what we're seeing now as the release of waters from Lake Okeechobee are hitting um, the Gulf of Mexico and hitting the red tide and then fueling the red tide, which is causing all of this horrific uh, wildlife kill with porpoises and turtles and fish kills and manatees. and. This is going to be something not only for, from an economic standpoint, I've heard about the challenges that those who run businesses that are focused on tourism are facing here. Um, and I've also heard about the horrific um, health impacts that this has created. People are showing up in emergency room with all these respiratory issues. This is not uh, whether we can deal with this. It's a must deal with this. This is a crisis management a responsibility of the governor that has been ignored for far too long. When I'm governor, we're going to address it and deal with it. Let me uh, ask you about the Democratic field itself. Uh, Mayor Gillum um, has surged in the polls recently. It seems like a lot of the progressives are with him. Democrats want to win, but what would you say to progressives who um, have been, been supporting him and some of the other candidates in terms of why they should that you offer them the best mm -hmm. chance to get their agenda. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm looking forward to August 29th and for us all to come together because uh, the four other candidates in this race, the five of us, any one of us would be better uh, than Ron DeSantis, without a doubt. So we will all come together and I'm looking forward to all of the supporters of all the other candidates recognizing that together we will win on November 6th. And I think the desire to elect a Democrat is far greater than anything I've ever seen. And then you talk about momentum, I feel it, Alan. All across the state of Florida, I have been all over Florida in the past week. And it's amazing to see the outpouring of excitement and recognition that we are the candidate that can win in November. It's a hollow victory <laughs> to win in August if you can't win in November. I'm the only Democrat who's actually beaten a Republican in a Republican wave year in a Republican district, and we will do it again in 2018. But should you win, you then have to win the general election and try to win crossover votes. Mm -hmm. What would you say the Republicans on the Sun Coast who are watching this right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. uh, assuming Congressman DeSantis wins the Republican mm -hmm. nomination, or even if it's Adam Putnam, about why they should vote for you and not support the Republican? Well, it's time that we bring sanity, rational thought, commitment to understanding the issues and making decisions based on fact and in the best interest of the people of Florida. That's what we bring to this race and it's been amazing. The outpouring I've already felt from people that maybe were supportive of another candidate who recognize that with our win, we have a chance not only to win again in November, but to have good governing again in Tallahassee. To have a governor again that's focused on the issues, being informed on the issues, making decisions 
that are challenging decisions. None of this is going to be easy. Let's, let's be honest about that. I want to be straightforward. None of this is going to be easy. But doing the hard work of starting to put in place policies that a year from now, five years from now, ten years from now, are going to be in the best interest of the people of Florida. I'm proudly endorsed by the Florida Education Association, public education, restoring that promise of public education, bringing technical training down into our schools to align with the jobs that our small businesses and other businesses, larger businesses that we would like to come here to Florida or grow here in Florida are looking for, making sure that we're providing that opportunity to raise our teacher salaries and education support professionals who are not paid nearly enough for the important job that they do, educating the future of Florida. My vision for Florida is to have a Florida where we're all doing well, where quality of life is present. And that's combined, all of these issues are part of the total approach that I bring to this race, which is to have better public education, protect our environment, provide health care for those who live here who have challenges finding the health care that you would want at a cost you can afford. Let's make sure that we're doing, the, taking the steps that, that doesn't create that problem for people in their lives. Congressman, good luck tomorrow. Gwen again? <laughs> <laughs> Alan? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.